yet in the quarter. Oh man, this is a big, big stage. We're in Cleveland. There's three minutes left. I'm creating separation and knocking that three down. LeBron James loses the ball, gets it right back, of course, because he's King James. Gives it to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie, you got to take smarter shots than that. 89 to 86. Two minutes remaining. Hassan Whiteside dribbles the ball up. Passes it to me. I have Mozgov defending me. You know that's a mismatch. I get double teamed and I see Chris Bosh cutting to the basket. And now we have slowly taking over the game. Green as I'm cutting to the basket. This one is done. Now that was probably one of my biggest performances of the year. And you know, coming back to the main menu, I have been crowned the starting position. Finally, man, I've been waiting for this moment for a while now, Goran Dragic has hit the bench, and you guys know Dwayne Wade with a hyper-extended right shoulder injury, he should be returning soon as well, so everything is falling into its place, I am fourth in the league as a point guard as far as points per game goes, and that tells you a lot, I was doing that off the bench, the Miami Heat right now are in the 8th spot with a 12 and 10 record, but now that I have control, things should be different. This is like the finals, and I'm not talking about the NBA finals. I'm talking about when you're at school and you have multiple tests day in, day out. That's what it feels like right now. I'm put through another test here in crucial situation. One minute remaining. What a block by Hassan Whiteside. We're down by two, so we definitely need to stop here. Whiteside cleans up the boards with 54 seconds remaining. We need a smart shot here. So I'm going to take my time. Whiteside sets screen. What a beautiful crossover. It was a little nasty dunk. Nothing too special. Like, I definitely want posterizer and finisher to make those dunks look better. But, hey, the game is tied up. Caldwell Pope, without even thinking about it, takes that three. It was a good look. But now we have the opportunity to take the lead. You know the Miami crowd wants it. They're getting louder and louder. I see Justice Winslow cutting to the basket. And just like that, we have now taken the lead. Twenty-six seconds remaining. They're going back to Lopez, who has struggled all game long, and it continues. Another missed shot, one for seven. And just listen to the crowd right now. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Man, that just gives me goosebumps. We walked away. 88 to 84 we got back to the main menu and i'm gonna go ahead and kick off game number three this is against the charlotte bobcats yeah yeah i said bobcats because i gave them their throwback uniforms when they used to be the charlotte bobcats we're taking on the charlotte hornets and man it's crazy like so here is Miami. We have not group. only the big man are Bosch and taken the starting job here in Miami, freak, and it's but we have also the gotten the attention of the There's league. Freak. The fans love me. The they were chanting good. MVP. The I mean, as a young player, this is my second year in the league. The it's Bosch. crazy when the crowd is loving you as much as they are at this stage of your career. So everything and is good right freak. now. All we have to do is, you know, downtown. start winning games. Freak's it's easier fun. said and done. To the paint. But we just got to start winning and games. So hopefully, now that I've taken points per game. the belt here in Miami, and you mentioned their we can start doing shooter. that. Not a team you can get careless with defensively. 54 to 47, attacking a basket and creating a poster. That dunk was on oh Jefferson. Let's take a look at that one more time. Yeah. 
Charlotte Hornets here slowly began to collapse. Kemba Walker turns the ball over. And that's an easy two-handed dunk. We just saw courtesy of Kia. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too Kemba once again. Going to Nicholas Batum. Batum, a wide open lane, and he just missed the dunk. We're going to attack now. I see Green. He goes up for it and gets the one-handed dunk. Credits me with the assist. This is when things get interesting. I don't have the microwave badge, but I just caught fire here in the second half. As we extend a lead, 63 or 49, we're going to create some separation. And knocked down another three-pointer. That was over Marcus Thornton. I started getting double teams, so you knew my teammates were going to be wide open. And they started knocking down their jump shots as well. And this was probably one of the easiest games of the year. Another clean rebound for Hassan Whiteside. You know he's going to do that every single game. And another three-pointer. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. Well, tonight you factored into this game with both your scoring and your passing. How big a factor was ball movement in this win? Oh, it was huge, no doubt. Uh, I mean, we know we're at our best when we keep the defense constantly in motion. We do that by moving the ball to play. We don't do that, we don't win that. You earned every bit of this win. Congratulations, Kevin. We're back in the main menu, and I haven't really showed you guys most of the endorsements that I've been getting. Dom Pagnotti has been doing his thing all year long. He got me a stance offer. Basically, I have to appear in nine, actually eight appearances on my off days, and I'll get all that VC that they said. Now, as far as badges goes, I talked about this earlier, man. I do want the microwave, the finisher, the posterizer. Those are the only ones that I haven't gotten yet. So hopefully towards the end of the season, I will get it. Dwayne Wade is back in the lineup, the man. The myth, the legend here in Miami has returned, so this is going to make things easier for me as I now have another weapon to go to. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. Another crucial fourth quarter. We're down by two here with a minute 44 remaining against an, a talented Atlanta Hawks team. So let's see what's going to happen here late in the game. Hassan Whiteside setting yet another beautiful screen, and this is going to end up with Dwayne Wade finishing with the layup. A beautiful, beautiful execution as we have tied the game once again. Al Horford going to, yes, that is Wilson Chandler. It appears that here in my second year, he has been traded away from the Nuggets. Seven seconds remaining. Jeff T passes this one, and it is a turnover. Dwayne Wade now resets, passes the ball out to me. Whiteside with the screen. I got double team, so I give it back to Whiteside. Whiteside, me finishes. Oh, I thought the ball was going to roll out, but Whiteside actually finishes and gives us the lead. So you know the Hawks, they're going to take as much time as possible. Here's Jeff Teague. Who knows how much time they're going to leave. There's Al Horford. Four seconds remaining. Jeff Teague, oh my goodness. That is my fault with nine seconds remaining. Desperation shot, then it goes down. What a shot. All zeros on the clock as he drains the game winner. With 0.9 seconds remaining and me being the reason why Jeff Teague had that easy layup, I had to do everything possible to give my team the victory. What an atmosphere here in Atlanta.